To perform a single hand whip finish, hold the bobbin holder with your left hand and pull a short length of thread straight up above the hook shank. Make a peace sign with your right hand and press the pads of your index and middle fingers against the strand of thread as shown. Your right palm should now be facing away from you. Curl your fingers slightly and, while pulling down with your left hand on your side of the hook, roll your right hand clockwise and form a loop with the thread. Your right hand is now palm up. The strand of thread from the hook shank to your index finger is what will wrap around the hook, trapping or whipping around the strand of thread that is coming from the bobbin. Push the loop away from you so that it traps the thread coming from the bobbin holder against the hook shank and pulls away from you against the hook shank. Keep your left hand with the bobbin holder on your side of the hook and maintain gentle tension. While maintaining tension and keeping the loop pulled against the hook away from you, rotate your fingers counterclockwise within the loop so that your right hand becomes palm down. Direct the portion of the loop on your right index finger clockwise around the hook shank while rotating your hand to palm up, pulling the loop away from you against the hook shank. This makes a wrap, or whip, of thread around the hook shank. Repeat the whipping motion four more times to make a five-turn whip finish. Be sure to make each successive wrap closer to the hook eye. Your final wrap should be up against the hook eye. With the loop pulled against the hook shank away from you, pull the loop straight up and take your middle finger out of the loop. Use the pad of your middle finger to trap the thread against the hook shank and then remove your index finger from the loop. Pull the loop tight with your left hand. The thread is now secure and can be cut. Here is the single hand whip finish at regular speed. Remember to pull the loop at approximately 90 degrees to the hook shank so that it doesn't slip off the hook eye. I hope this video helps you with your fly time.